The Greatest Showman is an odd movie. It's kind of uh, Hugh Jackman's passion project. And they, it's about P.T. Barnum, but I have a feeling almost none of it is true. Like, even when you look at the description of the movie, they say, inspired by the imagination of P.T. Barnum. Though it's so because of that, they make odd choices in the film which they didn't have to make. And it's weird. Don't listen to them. They don't understand yet. But they will. So tell me, do you want to go? Where it's covered in all the kind of lights. Where the runaways are running the night. If so because this is a musical, probably the most important thing to uh, think about is, was the music good? And uh, it was okay. I mean, it was incredibly forgettable. Like, I mean, I can, when I think about the movie, I can't think of any song that stood out. There's no song that I was, like, coming to myself as I left the movie theater. And, you know, that's a big problem in the musical. And, you know, all the music is just very kind of, like, radio music. It's not that... It's, it's not really well done. It's not, like, interesting or different. And, you know, some movies are, like, are redos of modern music and others are original. And, I mean, even the best songs just aren't memorable for me. I mean, it's not... They're not bad. They're just... I mean, I, I definitely don't want to uh, go and buy the album or anything. And, you know, that's a problem. However, the the best part, the best parts of the movie are the dance routines. And the dance routines are really good. I mean, they're well done and the kind of huge events. And But just, I didn't love the music. So the movie starts out in kind of a goofy way. But some musicals do this, and it's just kind of annoying when, like, they do in one song, they go through, like, 30 years of life. And, again, like, yeah, well, I just wonder, with some of the stuff, like, they they go to, he's a kid, then next time you see him, he's Hugh Jackman. And Hugh Jackman still looks great, but he's looking older. And, uh, you know, it's odd because, like, when it seems like they sh he's not meant to be that old in the movie. And, you know, on the surface, the movie kind of has a nice message that, you know, uh, if you're different, embrace a difference and celebrate it instead of, you know, hiding yourself. But at the same time, I don't know, because there is a lot of stuff in P.D. Barnum, it's kind of, it's a lot of stuff he did was pretty, kind of nasty. But even the movie itself, with how they treated the sideshow people, was kind of odd. Because, like, they were, even when they're going through them all, they're, they're kind of, like, throwaway characters, and they don't, None of them are really characterized that much. You don't want really to go into it. The only people you kind of really explore is the, the hot one, Zendaya, and when you get the uh, Zac Efron. And even that, they don't go in depth with them at all. Like, you never know the life story of anyone in the movie. Like, the only one you kind of know is P.T. Barnum. That's the only person that has any sort of background. And it's just it's strange to do that. And a lot of times in the movie, like, like this thing, like, like P.T. Barnum is supposed to be, like, celebrating these people, but a lot of times he's kind of, like, just using them. And it's just, it's questionable how they framed it. And especially, there's some really odd choices throughout the film. It's like, there's not that much of a story. You know, it's just him kind of creating the circus and then having strife and then finishing the circus in a different way. But, like, at a certain point... There's this part of the movie that kind of reminded me of the one Simpsons episode where uh, Homer, uh, this new uh, worker at the plant, this hot woman, and like he shares all this stuff with her, and they go on like uh, best employee thing, and they flirt and they have a uh, turkey leg on the bed, and they like think, will they or won't they? And then he says, you know, no, I have Marge at home, and he goes to her instead. And there's uh, a lot of that, that almost the whole episode is kind of in this part of the movie, where all of a sudden there's this uh, opera singer, when they go visit the Queen, and they bring him back and tour around the country with her. And I mean, that's probably one of my favorite songs in, a, in the movie was from that the opera singer. But at the same time, it's, it's opera, and like she's supposed to be singing opera, 
but then she's singing, you know, a modern tune. You know, it was just kind of just a little jarring, even though I liked the song. And it's there's this whole thing where, like, you, who Jackman is looking at him when she's doing her for performance, and, like, he's got the I want to bang eyes. And it's a really strange choice because up until that point, I mean, all of his uh, motivation for Hugh Jackman and P.D. Barnum has kind of been, like, to uh, provide for his family. And things he does there, he kind of, like, might ruin the family. And it's... I don't know why it's in there. Like, he didn't really gain anything from it. It's just, like, I don't know if they wanted to have, like, a, uh, a romance side plot of, um, a, a, a different from the main romance... It's just a really odd choice that they made that I don't get. And there's a lot of odd choices throughout the film. Instead of just, like, telling the story of P.D. Barnum via musical, like, I just don't really get it. I mean, look, it is kind of a fun movie. I mean, you don't get too many musicals nowadays. And, I mean, you can enjoy it. It's just, it's highly flawed. And, uh, you know, it's just full of weird choices that have been made. But, I mean, it's not a horrible movie. I mean, the, the songs are enjoyable, even though they're forgettable. And you can kind of see an interpretation of what might have, though it didn't happen with P.T. Barnum and how he created his circus. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's something, you know. People can enjoy it, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying it. Although it is funny that there's some stuff in the movie with about critics, which is kind of like... Uh, like, you're almost breaking the fourth wall a little bit. They're thinking about how they're going to critique this movie. You know, it, it's a little odd when you think about it. But, you know, I'd probably give it, like, a 6.75 out of 10. I wouldn't recommend it, but I wouldn't, like, say stay away from it. You know, it's not bad. It's just maybe one for me, even though I really like musicals. But uh, thanks for watching. You should check out other replays around my head. Subscribe to me over here. Thanks.